Meet the latest member of the ECS team. Charlie is a robotic human head designed and built by two students on the MSc in Artificial Intelligence. Devangini Patel and Sriram Kumar built Charlie for the course on biologically inspired robotics. In the future, robots will play an increasing role in society. The students aim to make Charlie as human as possible and to test out some of our assumptions about how robots will behave and interact with us as we begin to rely on them in our daily lives. We had to, uh, someone had to have an experience in making puppets, animatronics. Um, this is widely used in uh, many, cine uh, many uh, movies, making many movies like um, uh, AI, the movie AIs, they had a lot of animatronics, uh, Terminator. So, um, more it was about animatronics, uh, a lot of uh, creativity and um, bringing new ideas uh, of how to bring in new things into it and uh, try to uh, bring in new actuators and sensors, yeah, that's all it is. Devangini's project was about making the robot recognise itself in a mirror. Although there are already many robots which can perform monotonous and mundane tasks for us, Dev and Gini wanted to explore their ability to recognise themselves as robots. Do they know what they're doing? Do they know what they're touching? Do they have any realisation of what the world is? Or what they are? What are their goals? Or whatever. So for this, the robot has to be self-conscious, like all the animals and humans are. So my project is just a small part of making robots achieve that. It is making the robot recognize itself in the mirror, if it's able to do so, it is aware of how it looks like. So, the robot currently doesn't know how it looks like, but what it will do is it will move its parts, probably its hands or legs, but in this case, just its facial muscles, and see whether there's any correlation between what it's moving and what it sees in the image. That is what animals generally do if they want to pass in the mirror test. They move, they see whether there's any relation between the two, and if there is any, relationship between the optical field and its part, then yes, the image is itself. And this is like uh, building a model of yourself, okay, uh, this is me, this is my image, this is my world, this is my body, and then after that you can like derive concepts of my things. Sriram's project was an exploration of how the robot can learn more about the emotions that it is displaying and possibly learn to be more empathetic in the future. Uh, um, we, we evolve uh, emotions. Uh, when we are born, uh, we cry. All the babies cry. And how does that, that, that come? Uh, it's not being taught to the baby. So it's somehow hereditically uh, transferred. So my aim is just to find uh, how emotions are being evolved and uh, how um, uh, it, the robot doesn't know anything about emotions. It just keeps uh, um, evolving different faces and uh, we can tag them okay these are the emotions that you have to say like you're you're crying you're you're happy you're sad like that so in this way like uh, we can teach the robot to have many emotions and uh, the uh, ro the robot itself can later uh, cluster them or classify them into different uh, uh, emotions and it'll be a help for it to learn that's how I've uh, designed using evolutionary techniques